Here is a typical school playground with a group of children participating in competitive gaga ball. Okay, who wants to lose? Yeah, who wants to lose? You two are always bragging. No one's gonna want to play with you. You're just mad because we're better players. James hits a super fast ball. Van tries to dodge it, but it hits him below the knee and he's out. Wow, Van, you stink at this game. Hey, play nice. Why are you guys so mean to Van? Just play the game. Don't be little babies. Can I play? No, you're worse than Van. Go play with the kindergarten students. One student after another is eliminated. James and Booker easily defeat everyone in the Gaga ball pit. Alice stands around, but feels awkward and uncomfortable that she is not part of the game. Nyla speaks out. I don't want to play with you boys anymore. Let's go. Yeah, it's not fun playing with these Gaga ball bullies. After recess, the students take their seats. Mrs. Gibson can tell that something went on at recess. Students look upset. She immediately goes to the inner weather poster to write down the emotions her students experienced during the game. Class, let's talk about what happened on the playground. Where are you right now on the inner weather chart? Well, I'm mad because James and Booker were gaga ball bullies. They were poor sports and said some bad things to us. No, we didn't. Please wait your turn, James. Nyla's sharing her feelings right now. I'm frustrated because it's hard playing with Nyla and Van. They're terrible at playing gaga ball. Yeah, if they were better players, then we wouldn't be so hard on them. Boys, we all need to be a little kinder with one another. Recess games are for fun. It seems like most of you are experiencing a stormy day. Before I show you how to shift to the right side, let's hear from some other students. I feel hurt and sad. I feel nervous. I feel happy. I played a fun game of tag with the younger students. I feel sad because they didn't want me to play with them. Thanks for sharing. It's not easy sharing what we're feeling. Talking about our emotions helps us become more aware of how we're feeling so we can learn about ourselves and choose to feel differently. What have we learned about emotions? Emotions are like the weather. One moment we can feel sunny, and then the next, stormy. Yeah, emotions are not good or bad. But if we stay upset or mad too long, then it's not good for us. Well said, everyone. If we listen to our wise hearts, we'll learn to be more patient and kinder with our classmates. James and Booker, let's talk about that at lunch today. It sounds like you were being mean, but not being bullies. Bullies hurt people repeatedly on purpose. We want everyone to feel safe and respected, right? But for now, let's practice heart-focused breathing. This is a great way to let go of upset feelings. After practicing for a few minutes, Van raises his hand. Thanks, Mrs. Gibson. I'm feeling less upset now. Mrs. Gibson, I'd like to apologize to Van. I wasn't being very nice to him. Sorry, bro. Me too. Sorry. Look, you're better at computer stuff than me, and I'm better at Gaga Ball. We're good at different things. Well done, boys, for taking responsibility for your actions. Once the class calms down, Mrs. Gibson moves on to math. Later that day at home, Alice and her mother talk about the day. Hi, Alice. How was your day? Not so great. Why, honey? What happened? James and Brooker are mean. They make fun of everyone when we play Gaga Ball. I love that game, but they wouldn't let me play with them. Next time, leave the game right away and play something else. Okay, I will. Mrs. Gibson taught us a technique that helped us to focus on our hearts. So, I'm not as upset anymore. Maybe I should practice that technique again. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. Can you teach me? Sure. Mrs. Gibson says it's a good thing to do right before bed. Okay, let's do it then. <laughs> 